From the loneliest post office in the world to the mysterious Blood Falls, and from a potable water reserve that contains 70% of the world's fresh water, to a passage full of legends and sunken ships, these are the 10 most exciting places to visit in Antarctica. We start our list with Number 1. Most Southern Post Office a post office should be close to every major highway and have easy access to the rest of the world. Well, Antarctica has only one post office, and it's the loneliest. Right on the west side of the 324,000 square mile Antarctic Peninsula lies the Penguin Post Office. In the 1950s, being a postmaster was a crucial job for a base leader serving the UK. Those who received mail letters received more than just letters, they received a lifeline to the rest of the world. Maybe you'll fall in love with the place and stay for a while, since that historic post office is now hiring for the 2022 to 2023 season. This isolated post office is still active to this day. Seasonal staff send 70,000 postcards to more than 100 countries. However, those postcards take weeks to arrive from the most remote red letter box at Brantsfield House. Number 2. Ice Cube Research Station The Ice Cube Research Station is the only cubic kilometer neutrino constructed to date. The research station was completed in 2010 within six years and extends 4,600 feet deep under the Antarctic ice. A neutrino is a particle with little mass that travels through space at the speed of light. They are the perfect travelers that could reveal many mysteries of our universe. The telescope, dubbed the Ice Cube, operates thanks to the collaboration of 80 scientists and engineers. In 2017, it detected its first neutrino from the Orion constellation. The engineers alerted its coordinates to all the telescopes in the world, tracing the path back to a black hole one billion light years away. Number 3. Blood Falls there are many mysteries in Antarctica, but in Blood Falls, there are two. The first is a century-long question about its color. It turns out the water underneath the falls is two million years old, and it pours human blood because it's full of iron. The second mystery of Blood Falls is that there are many types of microorganisms in its water with zero oxygen. This zero oxygen environment hosts 17 different microorganisms, all trapped beneath the red ice. How long have these microorganisms been there? Two million years. That's 10 times earlier than when Homo sapiens began to evolve about 200,000 years ago. These ancient microorganisms live without oxygen or sunlight, the kind of life that only exists out there in space on frozen moons. Imagine being just a few feet away from an organism that could survive deep in outer space. Number 4. Colossal Penguin Colonies Antarctica is 5.5 million square miles, and colossal penguin colonies occupy the vast land. 12 million penguins in total, some of which are a size you can't appreciate in the video. Emperor penguins are the largest, reaching 4 feet in height and weighing 100 pounds. Despite their size, they are designed to be faster than Olympic swimmers. Underwater, they can reach speeds up to 10 miles per hour, and our friend Emperor can reach depths of 1,850 feet more than most nuclear submarines, which only go an average of a thousand feet. In such a harsh environment, they even take turns to warm themselves. To escape the cold wind and conserve warmth, penguins huddle together. Once one of them warms up in the center of the group, the warmed penguin will give that space to another colder peer and move to the outer perimeter of the group. Comment what your favorite penguin fact is. Number 5. Ross Sea or the Ice Shelf this ice shelf could determine the future of humankind, since it's the largest in the world. It is approximately the same size as France, and something is underway that should worry us all. It's melting at an alarming rate, 10 times the average. In the last 40 years, Antarctic melted ice has increased sea levels by half an inch. If this trend continues, the sea level by 2050 will rise nearly two feet, engulfing coastal cities worldwide. 70% of Earth's freshwater is on Antarctica's ice shelf. Vast quantities of water have been found under the Antarctic ice sheet. The depths can range from 725 feet to half of a mile. That means you could fit two Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. Navigating those waters and seeing incredible views of vertical ice fronts 2,450 feet thick and 160 feet high is an experience you will never forget. Number 6. Deception Island 
This landmark in the Atlantic has a very curious history. Deception Island was discovered by Nathaniel Palmer of Connecticut in 1820 and from the outward perspective, it looked like any other island. But the narrow entrance only led to the discovery that the island was a flooded caldera with a horseshoe formation with barren volcanic slopes, steaming beaches, and layered glaciers. What seemed normal upon arrival actually looked like a whole new planet. This island is an active volcano formed by a massive volcanic eruption more than 10,000 years ago. Despite sudden climate changes, it has been a haven for explorers coming into the Southern Ocean. Those warm beaches aren't alone. A colony of over 100,000 penguins nest on this active volcano. Unfortunately, no research center can survive in these extreme conditions with a volcano that had its last eruption in 1970. From 1965 until 1970, significant explosions destroyed research centers that had settled on this out-of-this-world island. Number 7. Antarctic Peninsula Known as Tierra de O'Higgins in Chile and Tierra de San Martin in Argentina, there are rivalries here straight out of the history books. The Antarctic Peninsula is that perfect isolated place on Earth where nations can conduct their most secret investigations and tests without prying media outlets. This gigantic remote location is critical for international affairs and sovereignty, which explains why three countries wanted to claim it. Argentina, Chile, and the UK all maintain territorial claims in the Antarctic Peninsula. This peninsula is on the northernmost part of mainland Antarctica, 80 miles between the Weddell Sea and Eckland Islands. Beneath that thick ice sheet, there are islands separated by deep channels. Nobody will want to lose their camera there, so beware while you walk along this icy path. Number 8. Drake Passage Violent currents and powerful storms that could capsize a modern boat of any size plague the Drake Passage, a 48-hour ride by boat to go through those fierce currents between the southern tip of South America and the northern end of the West Antarctic Peninsula is a daring voyage. It is named after Sir Francis Drake when one of his ships discovered the connection between the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Many modern boats change their course, often looking for smooth sea conditions under its waters. While navigating the roughest sea in the world, 20,000 sailors have lost their lives in this extreme voyage. Under its surface, there are more than 800 shipwrecks. Many years have passed and technology has evolved to make the passage's conditions a little more predictable. I'm curious to know, would you go navigate the Drake Passage as many sailors did back in the day? Number 9. The Falkland Islands The Falklands' main attraction is its wildlife. 500 different species of birds flying its skies, and on the coast there are 14 other species of marine mammals, such as killer whales, elephant seals, and sea lions, to name a few. There are also endemic species of birds, 219 of them in fact. Of all the plants that have been recorded, 171 are native to the islands, and 13 are endemic and do not occur naturally anywhere else in the world. Every visit is just another chance to encounter an animal you've never seen before. Besides seeing things that are rare in nature, many activities are waiting for you. Climbing, hiking, kayaking, and mountain biking. These islands with such incredible fauna rely heavily on the coasts, since fisheries account for over 50% of the Falklands' GDP. These islands are an internally self-governing overseas territory of the United Kingdom, following their war with Argentina that started in 1982, leaving 255 British and 649 Argentines dead in the 74-day conflict. Indeed, a pair of islands full of fauna, flora, and history. Number 10. Port Lockroy Port Lockroy is full of captivating history. Seventy years ago, this port was part of a secret British mission known as Operation Tabaran to establish a permanent presence in Antarctica and assert territorial claims. This involved building the first overwintering bases in Antarctica and formed the foundations of Britain's continued involvement in Antarctica. Station A was converted into a fascinating museum. Humans and penguins live in harmony in this port, since half of the island is open to tourists, while the other half is home to 3,000 Gentoo penguins. It's well preserved, and you can time travel with its signature lonely post office, the Penguin Post Office, a gift shop, and numerous Gentoo penguins, an endangered species you could immortalize in an unforgettable selfie if you're lucky. 
Is there another secret we missed on Antarctica? Tell us in the comments. Also, if you would like to know more about awesome places to travel to, watch the two videos that are on your screen. Thank you for watching across the globe, and we'll see you in the next video.